Saturday, chainsaw in our neighboring <laughs> neighboring yard. <laughs> Oh, I know this chainsaw. Right? I gotta tell it. <laughs> Wait, I'm well aware. What? There's a chainsaw <laughs> in the neighboring yard. Six, seven a.m. on. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Like seven, seven thirty a.m. on Saturday. Um, woke me up. It's fine. It's Saturday. I get it. Like it's st- it's still a work day, right? Except on Sundays, there's no construction allowed in residential neighborhoods. The construction across the street stops. Thank God. It's like it's our one day that we can sleep in it's without being woken up. At, it's at, the Sabbath. At, we cherish the fucking Sundays. Right? So, <laughs> Sunday, George. 7 a.m. rolls around. Chainsaw. <laughs> Just throw that out there. I knew what a chainsaw no, sounded like. No, 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 like. no. What you needed to understand is this was one of those amateur chainsaw people. It wasn't like a, a, an on and a quick, quick cut through. They were the type, type of person that runs the strategy for the tree while the chainsaw is running. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. They have a pen and pad. They well, don't, if I go I, up here dog, first, not, ring. Based on how long they ran this chainsaw, I don't know what tree they were cutting down. You would expect it to be a fucking redwood. Yeah. A 200 foot tall, 15 foot wide redwood. We don't have those here. And here's the worst part. I gave this neighbor permission to cut the tree down because it's a tree in my yard. But I thought like a few branches were hanging over. I don't know what happened because they asked me. They said, yo, like your tree's like leaning in my yard. Can we cut off some branches? I said, yeah, like, of course. I don't give a fuck. Like, I got no connection to that tree. But now it's affecting my life, right? I'm trying to sleep. My girl's trying to sleep. I'm exhausted. I took my NyQuil Severe and uh, now I'm, I'm groggy and everything. So 7 a.m. I grab my megaphone. Chainsaw stops. I go, hey, can you, can you stop with the chainsaw? It's 8 a.m. on a Sunday. Stops for a little bit. Comes back on. 8.30. I'm like, all right. This is fucked up. Because I gave you permission to do this and now you're just disrespecting me, right? On a Sunday. So I even looked up like noise ordinance code, bro. You can't do this on a Sunday. You just can't. So I said again, hey, chill with the chainsaw. I'm like, I said, fuck it. <laughs> Old me, bro. I'm going over there with a paintball gun in my fist. I'm sophisticated now. I'm an adult. Sophisticated. I'm sophisticated now. I'm an adult. So you put the paintball gun down. That's right. Good boy. And I dialed the noise ordinance. <laughs> No, you didn't. In Mencino <laughs> County. Yes, I did. And I said, hey, uh, I'm trying to sleep and there's a chainsaw. It's a Sunday and they're not, they've been doing it for hours. They, they ran it all the way till 2 p.m., bro. I called the noise ordinance and I texted Mike. I'm like, fuck this. I'm trying to sleep, whatever. And Mike said, oh, man, you're just not taking the oops today, huh? You've become a Karen. <laughs> You've become a Karen. I'm He's a, become I, a Karen. I'm, I'm Karen. Because I'm, I'm Karen. I wouldn't have said anything if it was just the one thing. But when he got dissed, by the small candy striper in the candy store back in Boulder last week and left a Yelp review I left that a said, Yelp this review. young man was quite <laughs> disrespectful to me. He's become a Karen. He's an oh. 85-year-old man or woman living inside Logan Paul's body. Body. He's been, he's been some sort of Karen demon is living inside of him. So did you ever like just go next door and be like, yo, man, chill? No, I don't want to do that because I was just yelling at him with a megaphone. Like, He's I, like embarrassed. Uh, but also, also, <laughs> I'm not the guy to leave my house to go to go complain. Like, I'm gonna handle this another way where I don't have to like do anything. Part of the reason I I wanted them to stop was so I could sleep. I gave you tried to give you the headphones, the noise canceling headphones. You throw those on, you would have been okay. No, because I I don't sleep on my back or my, my face. <laughs> well, no, you just put one ear in. So so if anybody at home oh, is dealing with a struggle, pillow. one ear on the pillow will block out fifty percent for that ear, and then you put in a noise canceling, you know, like a little earbud. Yeah. Because I do it for the bird. I do it for all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Here. And and, and, and the, you know it's it sucks because the neighbor who did it, she's a sweetheart. Like she really is so kind. Like we know. Let's go, guys. We know. Yeah, she's like awesome. and subscribe. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, we hear but I, not, I literally, I never would have given her permission if I knew this was going to like fuck my entire life up for the rest of my life. I, I, I don't think it was that deep. I'm being dramatic. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a pussy. Okay. I'm like, question. I'm I'm uh, here's a, a hypothetical. <laughs> She's cutting down this tree, right? Seven days in a row. Won't stop. You go up to her and you're like, yo, I'm going to fucking lose it on you in yeah, a second. Yeah. And she pulls out one of those boxes and she goes three more weeks straight early morning. But you get to keep this Pokemon oh, box. Yeah. I said, I said, I say this. Do you need an extra chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs>